Uh, good day. We're getting a lot of questions about space diversity and MIMO antennas. Of course, the first type of diversity, if you've got two by two MIMO and if you've got a type of antenna that allows it, it's two polarizations. They give you very good separation between two channels. But very often you need to use two antennas, either spaced horizontally or vertically. Let me explain how that works. If you've got two antennas and you're looking from the top, okay, and they are spaced like this, they only can give you a MIMO channel because you've got the base station here by some reflection from the side. Okay, a building. We have a building here. And they can do that because they can steer the beam so that one of the MIMO channels sees this set of data, one sees that set of data. What you've got when now vertically spaced, and I'm going to draw omnis because this is normally where they come in. So now we're looking from the side, okay? This guy here can detect reflections from above and below, which seems not that useful until you realize one thing. You've got your base station here. Like I say, uh, on Earth we've got one beautiful thing and it's called the Earth. So you've got those two possible signals, which is why I prefer, if you have to use space diversity, to use vertical, because you may not have buildings around you, especially if you're on a yacht or something like that, but there will always be a reflection from the bottom. So I think vertical has got a better chance of giving you MIMO in a 2x2 MIMO um, system compared to horizontal. Spacing in all cases, bigger the better, but keep them about half a meter apart.